YouTube, what's going on, man? If you don't know me, my name is Swiss V. Millie, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a content creator, and I speak about world current events and what's going on in society as a whole. As an ordinary guy, you know, I'll try to figure out what's going on in this sick society. But anyways, today's video, I'm doing a reaction video to Anonymous and how they started in the beginning of censorship. How censorship started in America and started in the digital age of information and social media. Phone calls and other data to track down. The CIA's drone program relies heavily on data the NSA provides. that includes phone calls, emails, and other forms of signals intelligence. But we didn't listen, and now we live in a dystopia. Like, why would you just use it on potential criminals or enemies of the state or what have you? Well, you could use it on the entire fucking population and make trillions of... Watch this video to the end, and what do you think about censorship on social media? What do you think has social media, why has gone to this dark path? Like, do you think the government did this, the elites did this? Who's controlling social media? And what's, what's going to happen to this new age of social media? Dollars and advertiser revenue. Well, what about when you talk about something and then you get an ad for that something that you've never seen an ad for before? With email service providers and social media, we've long been told that if it's free, you're the product. But with the Internet of Things, it seems even if you pay, you're still the product. A real-life science fiction movie. It really goes back to the data. So we have a direct connection with our consumers that provides us with deterministic first-party data. So we utilize that for targeting. How did we get here? The personal computer, originally designed to raise the intellect of humanity, has been transformed into smart devices designed to raise the intellect of artificial intelligence. Yo, you just heard it right there. Now instead of us learning, that shit is learning. So this new age of, of, of social media is going to be different. It's going to be different gonna be different and it's hard to keep up with artificial intelligence too and also we gotta talk about the censorship what's going on you just gotta put the pieces together you gotta put the pieces together from like 2010 social media used to be sociable we all used to socialize on social media but now we're not socializing we kind of against each other we trolling each other and um, instead of like having friendly things it was like a friendly thing being on social media and all that for me it was when i was younger now is the the complete opposite to get clout you got to be negative and do a lot of bad shit and all this wickedness and even even and even that you feel me censorship you can't say certain things you can't go you can't go against certain objectives then oh we don't like you we're gonna shut your page out we're gonna give you a copyright Instead. strike in order to correct the ai Google felt that they needed to re-rank all of the data. This has massive implications for society. Companies are modifying their behavior to ingratiate themselves with those in power. They're changing their slogans and advertisements. They're censoring content. They're firing controversial people. Speak up, you might lose your job because you're bad for the company's ESG score. Now, it's all about politics and hysteria. What we thought could make us more connected made us more divided. Instead of people using technology for their benefits, technology now uses people for it. Look at that look. Always watching you. Scary man. Music. What is the real story of January 6th? Many people have asked that question. Some Movie streaming services, online topping services, routinely. Everything is watching you. Basically, what they're trying to say is um, from websites that you go onto certain websites, certain companies that could 
track your your camera where you watching your website from you feel me like if you watching porn or you watching like Google or, or like you watching like a, a, a website about information or to educate yourself or like a book or to to or to to hear audio they could track you you feel me and they could see your face now and besides they could do that with your phone too um, and they already got your IP address it's crazy what they could do with so much things Look at your happening. pattern of behavior compares that to previous customers and tries to make predictions for you Google runs the largest of all the ad exchanges, also known as surveillance advertising. Big social media platforms don't sell ads to you. They sell you to advertisers. This technology is designed to collect as much information about you as possible, then analyze it with artificial intelligence to create predictive hmm. models of your behavior and preferences. This is you. A series of purchases. We just because um if you have a phone, you're contribute you're contributing to the rise of artificial intelligence. You feel me? So it's like it's crazy um how social media, even if you don't wanna participate, you end up participating in some sort of in some sort of way. You're gonna see. Like there's so many devices that got like technology in it now. That needs battery, that that needs um that has Bluetooth, that has chips inside. You know the chip that goes in the computers and phones. References and quantifiable data points that we define as your personality. We monitor every social network, internet blog, instant and text messages, known associates, your friends, emails received and sent, cell phone usage. We use this data to form personality profiles. We know who you are. We are everywhere. Thing is, you're not just following your bad guy targets, you're also following their metadata. And by the time you go a third hop out from the original target, you're looking at a list of 2.5 million people. This is a commercialized version of the very same technology that in previous versions used cell phone, email, and social media data to target with a predator drone. The CIA's drone program relies heavily on data the NSA provides. That includes phone calls, emails, and other forms of signals intelligence. Hi, Mom. Good afternoon, sir. But now, yeah. instead of delivering you a smart bomb, Avon calling. It delivers you a smart ad through smart devices. And that's just the beginning. And nearly every TV sold these days is a smart TV. And if you're not using a smart TV, you might plug in one of these, an Amazon I have a Zip, smart TV. Roku, or Google Chromecast. But all these devices are grabbing a lot of information about you, what shows you watch, when you're watching, and how long, even your voice. According to their terms of service, those smart devices use that information for a range of reasons, including analytics, marketing, and targeted advertising. They can share that data with countless third-party firms. Your privacy and behavioral data is monetized and sold to governments, corporations, and advertising agencies. This is a very dangerous weapon to put at the hands of the powers that be. We've really been building back 